Is okay. it recording? It's recording right now. So I'll do an intro and then we take a shot. Okay. I'm gonna introduce you. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am joined here by a very Hi. special guest. It is my friend Sammy. Hi guys. <laughs> We're going to be doing a tipsy get ready with us. So we do not know how this is going to be. <laughs> and we're meant to be going and get food after this, but who knows? We might not make it to the <laughs> restaurant. I think we're already tipsy. <laughs> so we're going to do shots. What is your one? Come on. What's my name again? Yeah, you go. <laughs> but we got, we got a down this, and then we've also got, with, the worst thing is we're actually mixing alcohol. Isn't that meant to be really bad? Like when you mix it's it. Okay. Are you sure? About it? Mm. I'm a lightweight, and I'm gonna be vomiting probably on my way home. It's okay, I've got work tomorrow. True. True. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs> <laughs> Might wash it down with some white. <laughs> I actually feel nice. Yeah, I don't know how I feel bad after Jaeger. I told you to have that. <laughs> So what kind of look are you going to be going for? A bit subtle, yeah. sassy. Oh, I love that. We love that a subtle sense. sassy. Sass <laughs> subtle sassy <laughs> jelly. In my hair back. Yeah. Oh no. I don't know. Let's just see where the drink. Let's just call this alcohol yeah. makeup. This ain't even a get ready bus. This is going to be alcohol makeup. I'm going to bring out my conspiracy palette. <laughs> I'm not too sure what I'm going to go with. Maybe okay. Tarte or Too Faced. Love a bit of Too Faced. So we go back to cleanse our face. I'm gonna use the Garnier Rose Tonin. Wow, she's a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you gonna use? The Elemis Superfood Tea Mist. Mm, look how dirty I am. Oh, we're dirty. This is London life for you. Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> So Sammy has never been on my channel before. It was about time I introduced her to you guys because you needed to meet her because we've known each other for how long now? You got it on your eyelash, Jason. Ooh, wow, that one you really remember. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we've known each other since we was like six or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've known each other since what, like year two or year three in primary school. Yeah. We're naughty kids, guys. Oh, we were really, very, we were really naughty. Children. But I have to say, we kind of grew up into really good adults. Yeah. And we're For very sure. respectful um, young lady. Yeah. So I asked you guys to ask us some questions on Instagram. So as we get ready, I am going to share those questions. I say we just done it. Yeah, okay. Give me a second. I'm a lightweight. Lightweight. Do you know I'm gonna burn from God? Yeah. <laughs> I'm also gonna get up the questions while we get ready because I, I wish I looked like that now. <laughs> I was looking at the thing, I was yeah. like, you look beautiful as always. Oh, thanks, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna just start off with this one. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? I wanna hear what people are saying. Like in their head, like, yeah, like their inner thought. That could potentially drive you crazy because imagine you heard something really bad. Yeah. How would you actually live with yourself or react to that situation? Invisible, maybe. Invisible? Yeah. Maybe fly. I don't know. What's <laughs> just going on? You labeled like three different superpowers. You meant to have just one. Okay, let's go with hair people's inner thoughts. Oh my god, imagine being on London Underground and you hear these creepy men's thoughts. But sometimes it will be so funny to know what people think as you walk past. And also, if people are lying to you, you probably yeah. hear it in their head, you'll be like, lie. Imagine she's like, oh, you look really nice today, but in the head they're like, you look like sh <laughs> I think I'd want to be able to control time. And I know that's a risky that's one. That's a really good one. I think I'm going to actually burp up that wine for me. So. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd want to be able to be in charge of time to kind of relive moments or fast forward it or pause it. Imagine if you pause time, like if I wanted something, and this is actually not even good, but imagine that like, you needed 
some money. You can just pause time, take it, your money, and then go. Yeah. You know, like out of a bank and stuff. Mm -hmm. That sounds really bad, like, but you know what I mean. I just think with time, I could just relive really certain memories yeah. and kind of see people again in that way. By the way, guys, I'm just using a bit of diet root beer on my eyes. Where'd that one go? Oh, I left it over there. We have some gin and tonic. Go on. That's a bit risky. That's a bit mixing, though. <laughs> So I'm just applying oh. some foundation, guys. I'm just gonna fill up our cups a little bit more and I'm gonna grab another question. And we're gonna have some gin after this. I have bought more bottles. It's a nice amount, in it? Yeah, that's a nice wine as well. It isn't is. it? And it's right. cheap. <laughs> Gallo. <laughs> guys, I'm really basic when it comes to makeup, so don't expect too much from me. I don't know how to contour, so. The fact that you're even doing this video with me itself is good. So you have to give her a thumbs up for doing this video because otherwise she'll never do one with me ever again. <laughs> so, we've got another one here. An alcoholic drink that you can't smell without feeling ill. Deserano. Is it? Yeah, because at my 21st birthday, I had so much. I literally blocked out, guys. I bought this coffee table that came broken and someone put the box on my bed. I was so drunk, I literally dived onto the box of broken glass. Thankfully, nothing happened. But can you oh, imagine? Damn, that's so bad. Can you Would you not promote that? <laughs> right away? Please do not dive on boxes of glass in them. I remember like we went to Morley's yeah, and there was like these American guys. <laughs> Morley's. And then they were like getting really rude and stuff. Really? They were like, let us come to your party or watch. <laughs> And we were like, no, you can't come. And then they knocked at my door. They were like, ahaha, ah, we're coming in now. And one of the guys literally just pushed on and came in. He was just like, just trying to be your friend. My friend asked them to leave. Like, he was not playing. He was like, you guys need to leave now. That's how we actually got them out. Every time I kind of smell it now, I'm just a bit like, whoa. And I don't really like the smell of vodka either. That's the thing. I was going to say vodka for me is actually a no-go. I do drink it all the time. So it's not really a no-go, but yeah. if I smell it, just vodka itself, I'm like, oh, because it reminds me of vomiting so, so bad. bad. Even Jägermeister, like that's one but thing that- you just had that. I know, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Sabrina's given me this palette. I'm about to test it out. Usually what? I'd use this Fenty concealer, but today I'm gonna try NYX Yay. and I'm gonna mix these two colors, golden and mahogany. And, and we'll they're see. so good. Oh, Maybe I'll just them. use mahogany. This one. Did you see what I done? Sam, I feel my Um, I'm <laughs> Don't even bother. Okay, I've got another one here, which is goes along with the other question. So, let's go back, collect my thoughts. Let me just have a drink. Love that. Favorite alcoholic drink? What is your favorite, your go-to? I have two, I think. Mm -hmm. I like Prosecco or Champagne. You do like Prosecco? Yeah. I recently got into gin. I did like that, but we're about to drink this one, so. I'm a chef, guys, so the guys at my workplace, <laughs> got me into drinking this gin and um, Whitley Neal's rhubarb and ginger and I like to mix it with elderflower tonic water I'm and gonna so try good. that after yeah you're gonna like it I freaking thought rhubarb was a jam guys <laughs> so I was like I'm a fan jam <laughs> no you said a cake a cake yeah I was like is that a cake <laughs> she's like can I bring a knock <laughs> my favourite alcoholic drink oh the thing is going this I'm gonna tilt it a bit you know wait hold on is that my phone <laughs> <laughs> I'm real ready no, I can't even, I can't even pull it down right now. Oh my Hold God. on. That's better. <laughs> oh no, it's no, not. It cuts <laughs> off our heads. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? My favorite alcoholic drink of all time. This is going to be so typical, but it is a Ponsal Martini. I do like it. Um, it's just so good, isn't it? I could have that every day of my dinner. Like if someone made a Ponsal Martini, I could literally just have that as like normal, like a Diet Coke kind of thing. I also love a tequila sunrise. So I'm currently going in with Treehouse in the crease. I use sleep paralysis from the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson palette, but I kind of wish I used spiraling right now because it's very like silvery brown. Really I love that. Do you like See, it? I like earthy colours. I'm all about that zen vibe, you know? 
I've got a loud personality. Well, I wouldn't say loud, I'm a bit cuckoo. With Sam, I feel like you could come across to some people quite introvert, but once they get to know you, she is wild, she is down for a good time, <laughs> and she likes to have a good time, people. And she's always up for fun, and That's this is actually true. what I love about you. You're always up for a good time. That makes two of us. She's literally the same, guys. You're very wild. I don't even get to see that side of me, and no. I wish that they no, did. No, she's really fun. Like, remember we'd walk home from school, I wasn't really like, okay, you wouldn't agree to it. I would be like, Sabrina, I need to go home now. Yeah, no, this is going here. I'm like, okay. Then. <laughs> Guys, we was in primary school. We was really naughty. We were naughty running around the streets. I lived like probably like, oh, probably not that far from me though. 15 doors yeah. away from Sabrina, not pretty far. much. I'd go down in the morning, like, I would always have to go and knock her because she be pretty much lived next door to school. I'd be like, Sabrina, are you ready? This girl's still in her PJs. <laughs> there or wait on her to shower and then we'll go and we'd always have to stop at the corner shop to get our oh, friends and we used to get five. chocolate muffins and space raiders oh the pickled onion Prima, don't let me look like a clown <laughs> we have to go out before we end up drinking a little bit more i'm definitely going to try and put my lashes on now sam cut up these lemons for the video for our gin isn't it yeah but i think we should try and eat them i think it'll be funny Let's take one eat. Wait, I can't even grab it. There you go. <laughs> oh wait, these are limes. How dare we call this a lemon? Mm. That's really nice. That goes perfect with that one. I could eat this. <laughs> <laughs> you know in most tips you get ready with me videos, people actually drink as they get ready and they actually like do a good job. I don't think this is gonna be one of those videos. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the opposite, guys. That's the thing in my lip. That was beautiful. Okay, let's go with this one. What's the most important thing for you in a friendship? Loyalty. I was gonna say that. Hello, oh, you. It's always good to have a friend that's down to earth and that's loyal. What's your dream car and holiday? Or you go first. Okay, so Mercedes Jeep. <laughs> oh, you already know, well done. I, I would say I have a Bali or Maldives. I think for me, like the dream car would be maybe, this is not even that fancy, you know, like this isn't even a big deal, but like an Audi A1. Mm -hmm. I have just put on my face the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade light. I've got it all on my face now, so I'm just like, I've already applied my just foundation. Just get a brush and just buff it off. I feel like drugstore concealers are really like, there right now guys usually my makeup takes me like 10 minutes can't relate so she's the makeup artist and i'm the chef she <laughs> claims that she's i've never cooked for hair never I imagine you're she having a friend as a chef cook, and, and you're at your house. house when back in the days you were what was i like tech no <laughs> Guys, imagine having a chef as a friend. A chef. And she's only ever done my makeup once. And this was when we was like 17 years old. I'm gonna take Max Studio Fix Powder and NC30. Oh. I'm gonna set that in place. Because one of us is doing our makeup right now. It's okay guys, I got this. Are you gonna put on eyeliner? Mm -hmm. I don't think doing wing dollars is the right thing right now. I think I could do it. I don't know. No, you're thinking of me. I'm gonna go for it. If you watch this video, when to wait for her, I was a good friend and I told her not to do her winged eyeliner and she still went ahead and done that. So I did the right thing as a friend. So no one come for me. I told her not to do it. So okay, this pillow. <laughs> Sabrina, it's if, <laughs> if this goes wrong. This pillow feels so good. <laughs> Sabrina, Sab, Beanie, if this goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, then it's your fault. No, it's your fault. <laughs> ka <-ching. laughs> Oh girl! Oh, hold on. Oh my god, don't hurt. Who did that? So we're going to have some Whitley Neal rhubarb and ginger. While Sam is putting on her concealer, I have another question from you guys. How to get over a guy who was an arsehole to you? Well, to be fair, I've only ever been in like two two like relationships. So I don't know how to really answer that question because I'm friends with both of them. Are you? Yeah. Well, oh, God, that's really good. That's very, very, very good. Everyone rare. is like, Sam, I don't know how you do it. But if they were treating you wrong, what would you do? Cut their balls off. <laughs> I 
think like if you know that someone is treating you wrong and you're already aware of it, like you already know that it's wrong yeah. behavior. I know everyone says this, but life is honestly so short, it's crazy. And I don't see why you should waste your time being with someone who doesn't appreciate you, doesn't see all the good qualities you have to offer. A relationship is a two-way street and if they aren't putting in the effort, then you need to let them go. And you should really honestly just make time for people who make time for you. People who love you will always be in your life and people who don't, well, then they will take a back seat and you have to just let them get on with their life. You know your worth in that way. Yeah. One relationship was like school. It wasn't like nothing serious if that makes sense. Then I've left school and then I've been in that one serious relationship for how many years. So I guess I think that's good though for my age. But yours so is really good, like I like her and Sean guys, like Thank you. Either he likes a mad woman. When we start going out, obviously we were so young and I honestly, I just fancied him a lot and I didn't think that anything would kind of like progress from this. Yeah. We're okay. showing from no hair to like, with this like long hair now. So guys, I'm about to apply my blush off. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown in the colour Berry. It's a really nice blush on like for my complexion, I believe anyway. So I'm going to use my blush, which is the shade Margin by MAC. I love that blush, like it just looks so good on the face. What's your favourite hangover food? Hangover food? Oh, now we're cooking! McDonald's. Because they always deliver on Uber Eats. So I'm like, McDonald's it is. I think whatever I can find to eat, to be honest with you. I like crisp and chips, guys. By the way, I'm just putting on some highlighter. This is the Just A Theory from the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star palette. And ever since my video, which you should definitely check out, I've been linked to the down bar. I've been using this all the time as a highlight and I genuinely love it. Like, these cheeks are popping down. Look at this highlight. What's your favorite quote? What would be your favorite quote? Never let the fear of sh I can out get oh um um I need to find it because it's gonna annoy me. Like, never let the fear of striking out keep you from play keep you from playing the game. I don't even know what my favourite quote would be, you know. I literally love quotes so much. By the way, I'm putting on a benefit roller lash. Sam is actually dropping her makeup on herself right now. She's she lying, so guys. Well. You can clearly see that. I'm fine. Oh my god, why do I feel like this? I'm 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 um, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> We know how to handle our drinks. I'm about to use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick um, Espresso. I'm going to, what's this thing called? Contour. Yeah, contour the cheek. By the time I'm done with Sam, she's gonna love everything. I'm putting on a nude cake. It's such a nice hydrating lipstick. We were meant to be forever. gets ready i'm gonna ask a question lucy norton 04 says favorite product to use when you're getting ready for a night out not sure i would say urban decay all night spray i do use maybelline ink how do you feel good about your appearance i'm constantly nitpicking myself so like I'd always think to myself like no one will like me whatever like my breasts are too big. I remember in secondary school like a lot of people used to be like pick on me kind of thing. They'll be like oh you've got a baby like your boobs are so big. Kids like, are so mean though. No, yeah. Kids are so horrible. I know what you're saying because I feel like it's my teeth. It had like a yeah. little lap guys but I think it would be like this. It was teeth all great now but I still like I feel like even if you had kept them like that you would still look nice because no, you're I a stunning girl it. like so do you not know, no i'm being serious like no i hate you no i used to literally tie freaking dental floss around them and hope that they pull out <laughs> now i finally like them thanks to braces but the confidence kind of comes as you get a little bit older, older. Really. like i'm 26 now i'm just like you know what if you like me you like me if you yeah. don't then that's your problem it's took such a long time to like develop like confidence and stuff i don't know about you but i feel like the more i don't really care what other people's opinions and views of me are the more comfortable i start to feel as a person mm -hmm. and as you get older you just become so much more comfortable in yourself because i remember guys growing up sabrina used to hate her hips hated them can you believe i remember I hated this? them she used to be like i had such big hips and i'm like sabrina you've got a such a nice shape now she embraces them we're gonna end it here guys make sure you like subscribe and comment
comment on her channel. We're gonna come close to you guys see our makeup. Don't judge us right now. This is our makeup. <gasps> I think it looks alright considering. And you know what, Sam? That wing ain't even too bad. <laughs> no, look at the wing, guys. Oh! oh, 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 oh thank you for watching, guys. Thank you, see you for soon. having me on your channel. Oh, thank you for being a part and of it. And thanks for accepting me, Sabrina's friends. Yeah, <laughs> we love her. Make sure you write loads of nice things about Sam in the comments. For next time, bye.